In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Maker. This is the Ninja Creamy 7-in-1 Program Ice Cream Maker. I'll let you know if I like it or not. You can customize your own recipes by using fresh fruit or canned fruit. This machine is great for people who have food allergies. You can eliminate the ingredients that you're allergic to like nuts, dairy, or eggs. So this way you know exactly what ingredients you're putting into your ice cream as opposed to store-bought ice cream. Okay, in the box, there's a recipe booklet. You can make things like strawberry ice cream, chocolate ice cream, vanilla bean gelato. You can even make milkshakes. This box came with three ice cream pints. This is the ice cream container bowl. Now this is the paddle blade that gets attached to the lid for the containers. You just pull the latch when you want to release the blade from the lid. To put the blade on, you just hold the paddle latch in the back of the lid and then you push in the paddle blade. The lid, the blade, and the ice cream pints are really the only pieces that you're going to be cleaning. And they're all dishwasher safe. So now I'm going to walk you through each one of the setting programs. Okay, so there's the ice cream setting. Then there's the light ice cream setting, which is good for low sugar recipes then there's gelato which is good for egg custard base recipes then there's the sorbet setting which is for fruit and juice base settings the smoothie bowl setting is for fruit dairy and juice base recipes the milkshake setting is for ice cream and milk base recipes. The mix in setting is designed to fold in pieces of candies, cookies, etc. Now, the respin button is what you're going to use when the base is very cold and the texture is crumbly rather than creamy. All right, so now I'm getting ready to show you how I make peach cobbler ice cream. This video is inspired by Georgia. The booklet comes with a vanilla ice cream recipe, but I'm going to change this recipe up and add other ingredients to it. Okay, so you're going to start off by using one large peach. You're going to have to dice up the peach. You can also use nectarines if peaches are out of season. It basically tastes the same. Next, I use a blender for about 10 seconds just to make sure the pieces are even smaller. I'm going to just set this aside for now. Now I have to make the base recipe for the ice cream. I'm going to start the base by using one third cup of sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. You just have to stir in the sugar and vanilla extract together until it looks like this. Now I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. 
my level up ingredient is nutmeg it's optional you don't have to use it but i think it enhances the flavor profile i only use a half a teaspoon of the nutmeg i just stir everything together next i'm going to add three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream Then I pour in one cup of whole milk. Now you have to make sure you stir everything together until the sugar is completely dissolved. Now I'm just gonna fold in those diced peaches that were in the blender. Now I just have to pour the base mixture into an empty ice cream pint. All right, so now you just need to put the lid on and make sure the lid is on tight. You see how this is a little bit above the maximum fill line? I think it should be okay. We'll see. All right, so now this is ready to go into the freezer for 24 hours. When you put this in the freezer, it has to be sitting on a flat surface. So I'm just gonna put it in the freezer door. All right, so it's been 24 hours. This is what it looks like. Solid as a rock. Okay, so now you have to snap in the pint into the ice cream maker bowl to put on the lid. You have to align it and then you have to turn it until you hear a click. Next, you have to lock and load the bowl onto the machine and twist it upwards. This almost looks like a coffee maker to me. Now I have to turn the power button on. Then I'm going to hit the ice cream setting. Now this machine is loud. It's loud like a blender. You're gonna be using it for about two minutes. It'll automatically shut off once the progress bar level reaches the fourth bar. This is not like the old school ice cream makers where you put rock salt and ice in a bucket. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description box below. Now it's almost done. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more sightseeing savings tips, recipes, and tricks.
Okay, so now I have to hit the release button on the side. Just twist it down and pop it out. To take the lid off, you have to press the lid button and turn it, then pop it off. Now, you see how the texture looks crumbled? It's okay because the next step is to add the mix-in phase, which will smooth everything out. For the mix-in phase, the book says that you can add in things like cookies, pretzels, and cereal. So next, you have to dig in a hole in the center of the ice cream. I like to use a spoon handle to make a big enough hole in the center. I'm going to be putting in some cookie crumbs in the middle of the hole. This is my second level up ingredient. I use the Belveda cinnamon brown sugar cookies. I take one cookie and then I break it up into tiny pieces. You can use another cookie if you want to. I just like giving people options. So now this is ready to go back onto the machine. So now I just have to hit the mix in button. Now let's see what this looks like. See how this looks smoother and creamier now? In regards to the maximum fill line, you can't go too much past the maximum fill line because this is almost filled to the brim. You can see some of the cookie pieces in there too. This looks velvety smooth. Let me see what this tastes like. Do you know what this tastes like? It tastes like a cross between peach cobbler and eggnog. I like it. It tastes good to me. All right, so that's it for my peach cobbler slash cookies and cream concoction. Up next, I'm going to show you how to make some peach sorbet. Okay, in the recipe booklet, it says that you can use fruit cups to make sorbet, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm only going to be using four peach fruit cups. I use the fruit cups with the syrup inside of the cups because the recipe booklet says using canned fruit with no added sugar, for example, fruit and water, may damage the unit. I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of sugar. Then I'm just gonna stir it up. Okay, so now this is ready to go into the freezer for 24 hours. Okay, it's been 24 hours, and as you can see, the sorbet is solid as a rock. Now I'm just going to lock and load this onto the machine.
press the power button on and then I hit the sorbet button. Now I hit the release button to take this off. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Sometimes the texture is inconsistent. I'm going to put this on the respin setting to let this whip up again. Also, there's peach chunks on the side, so I don't know if it could whip those chunks up too. So I'm going to hit the respin button. The respin button doesn't stay on as long as the other buttons do. All right, so now let's see what this looks like. Much better. Now it looks smoother and creamier. But I still see some chunks on the sides. Okay, so now let me see what this tastes like. It tastes refreshing. It's a nice summertime frozen treat. I like using the Ninja Creamy because it's simple to use and you can customize your own recipes. All right, now I'm done talking. Now it's time for me to eat some more of this yummy ice cream before it melts. Thanks for watching.